Hello everybody, I want to show you this video 10 cool things you can do with the Samsung Galaxy M21. So the first point I want to show you is about the screen, because as you know the screen is very big and I have already big hands but I cannot reach everything with my thumb. But there's an opportunity to make the uh, screen a bit smaller by just swiping down here the home button. So then I have here the one-handed mode, uh, now I can see everything, so it's the full uh, phone, just a bit smaller here on the screen, so and I have access to everything. Works also with games, by the way. And if I want to finish it, I just tap here on the black field and it's there. But if you worried now that it doesn't work on your phone, it's because you have to enable it first if you're using it for the first time. So just scroll down here. Then we have here the symbol for the settings. Tap it. And then we need to point advanced features. And then we need that point here, one handed mode. So, and uh, if you enable it one-handed mode, uh, it's uh, um, pre-installed for the gestures so that you just have to swipe down here the, um, uh, the home button huh? and always come back here. Um, or otherwise you have also a button method that means that you have to double tap the home button. So if we now choose this one, if we double tap here the home button, we are also at this um, one-handed mode. Mode, no? By the way, you can also change the position. So this is for right-handed people, but you can also go here on the arrow to have it on the left hand and so on and so on. Yo. Um, a nice mode. And yeah, the next feature I want to show you is about the camera. So maybe there's a situation you want uh, to have a picture for, but you're nervous and you cannot find the camera app and so on. There's a way to quick launch the camera by just double tapping here the power button and you are immediately at the camera. So what is very nice, this works also if you are on standby. So if you double tap here the power button, you are immediately at the camera and the chances are less that you miss a great picture. So, and if you are here now at the camera, there's also our next mode. If we go here on more, we need here Bixby Vision. If you tap the first time on Bixby Vision, you have to enable a lot of stuff. And uh, if you have done this, um, it has a live translation. So that means you uh, hold your um, phone with the Bixby Vision Cam on uh, maybe a book. No? I have a German book here and it translated live no? <laughs> with almost the same letters, by the way. Uh, into English or another language. Ne? And by the way, this is also auto detected, so the phone recognized the language also by its own. So it didn't. Ha you don't have to set up the language you just want to translate or something like this. The phone auto detected by its own. And um, if you want, you can transfer it and also directly here on Note. If you go um, here, then you have saved it as a picture, and you have it here um, directly. Uh, that you just have to copy it. Okay, so a very, very, very nice feature. Uh, but as I said, you have to enable it first. If you go on Bix Pixel Vision, uh, you have to agree everything first. And then it's a very, very nice tool. So the next thing I want to show you is about the flashlight. I think you know already how to enable the flashlight if you tap here on the symbol and so on. Uh, but if you scroll down here a second time, you have now here the written word uh, below the symbol. And if you tap on the written word, flashlight or main your version torch or something else, then um, you have here the opportunity to change the brightness. What is very nice. So that's on it first. And now you can change here the brightness. Uh, so as you can see on my hand, it goes low, it goes more intensity. So very nice. Choose the brightness you want to have. Um, I think Samsung was the only um, phone you can change the brightness for the flashlight for. What is very nice, I think. Yo. Yeah, the next feature is about cloning apps. So uh, why not having uh, two Facebook accounts here on that phone or maybe we have a dual SIM phone. We can use also two WhatsApp accounts here on that phone. Uh, so let me show you how it works. So we just scroll down here. Then we have here the symbol for the settings. And I think you know already where we're going to, to advanced features. And then we have here the point dual messenger. 
Okay, and here at this list, you have all the apps which one supports that feature. Not every app is supporting that, uh, by the way, Instagram. So for the moment now, I don't know if they plan it or not. Uh, you can just have one Instagram account on that phone. Um, but it works with Facebook, with WhatsApp, uh, Snapchat, I think as well. And yeah, but I have now these Facebook and WhatsApp uh, stuff here on my phone. So let's enable WhatsApp. Okay, we install a copy of it, we confirm it. And then we can say if we want to use a separate comp contact list. Um, if you want to use a separate contact list, we have to on here that feature. We want to use the same one. Yes. So now it's on the messenger. So now we have it enabled here, same with Facebook. Yes. And also here the messenger. This is the Facebook messenger. Now. Okay. So now let's have a look uh, how it looks like at the end. So here you can see my main WhatsApp account and here is my second one. Now. The same with messenger. Uh, this original one and that's the uh, second one. The second one, as you uh, know, as you can see, is always the one with the orange corner. Now, same thing with Facebook. This is the second one, and the first one is there. So, um, and these accounts are completely independent. And also, if you want to delete them, maybe one day, maybe let's take your messaging account, just hold it, go on uninstall, and then you just delete the second account, not the first one. So you can keep the data on the first one. No? Otherwise, if you want to delete them, you can go also here back and remove it from here. Disable, tap here, uninstall. And then the second ones are disappeared, but the main contacts, uh, the, the main apps will stay there. So here's the original WhatsApp, the original Messenger, and the original Facebook. So. Um, a very nice tool to have two accounts on the phone. Okay, for our next feature, let's go back to the camera here because this cam has a wide angle cam. As you know, we have many cams here, so triple cam. Um, and uh, yeah, the ma main cam is very nice, by the way. But if you want to take good pictures, um, you cannot have too much on your phone. But if you go here now on the symbol with the three, three, with the three threes, then you will have the wide angle cam. And as you can see, you have much more here on the phone. If I go back here, then this is the regular cam and this is the wide angle cam. So especially for group pictures, uh, very nice or if you're very close to an object. Um, so I can really recommend that. So then you can use all cameras, very nice. And also very important of course for the phone is to take a screenshot. Uh, maybe if you see something nice on a website or something like this, you just use the power button and the down button for the same time. So press it for the same time and you have immediately a screenshot. So one more time, the power button and the volume down button, just for short, for the same time, and you will have a screenshot. After, you can share it directly or edit it here, or um, to have just the preview. Right? And you can also do that with the edge of your palm. If you swipe it across the screen, you will have a screenshot as well. Right? And if we go here now on uh, editing, um, we can may crop just the part here, maybe if you want of the Google bar, or maybe a picture on the website or whatever. Um, you can crop it here, you can draw something inside, so very nice. After I go on save, that's directly part of our gallery. Then you can also record the screen, so you can make a video of the screen, but this works just for games. So uh, I've installed the game already. Let's have a look here to Tom Gold one. And uh, yeah, first of all, um, you have to enable some stuff. I will show you it now where to, so just, um, up here the bar, then you have here the symbol for the game center. And if you tap that symbol for the game center for the first time, you have to enable that uh, the phone is allowed to have access to the storage, to the microphone, and so on. It's for the game booster, also, by the way. So, and uh, then if you swipe it up here again, go here on the game center, and then we have here the symbol for our screen recording. So, tap on record here. So, then he's starting. If you want to start now, of course, I want to start, and then the phone is starting. Um, the uh, recording and it says here also that we have want to stop it. Uh, we have to tap again on the bar and so on and so on. The important is also that you have the um, audio here on loud that the phone also records the game noises. 
Okay, if you are finished with the stuff and so on and so on, then confirm this first. Um, if you're finished with the stuff and so on and with your with your game, of course, so let them hit that the boing, the game is over, then just go here on the symbol to stop. No? Have you seen it? So just a symbol here to stop. And the screen recording have oops, the screen recording have stopped. Okay. Um, yeah, the last one you've seen was the was the one-handed mode. By you, by the way, you remember, I think, um, because I have double tapped the home button. Yeah, the next feature is uh, very nice if you use your smartphone uh, at night or before you want to go to sleep, because um, the phone uh, gives your eyes uh, a bit stress uh, because the light is not natural and so on. Um, but there's a blue light filter included. So if we swipe up here, so swipe down, so swipe down again, we have here the blue light filter. And if you tap on the blue light filter, you can see that the color is a bit turning. So because um, it's changing a bit uh, and to reduce the blue light. And if you go here on the written words, we can change the intensity. So the opacity, uh, we can do it less or we can do it more. As more it is, at more unusual is it for us first, but as better is it for our eyes. So because it can really reduce the eye strain and may you sleep in better. So may um, you sleep better and so on and so on. So I would really recommend this one to you um, to have a try. So uh, this feature, you can also chat to it. If you say, uh, okay, I don't want to have it on a day. What is also nice, yeah, because what's working on the night, it's working also on the day. Uh, because your eyes really feel less, have less stress. Um, but if you say, okay, on the day I want to have the regular screen and so on, um, let me show you uh, what you can, where you can chat you a little. So just go here to the settings, then go here to the point display, and then we have here the blue light filter. So, and uh, now we can set up here a time if we go here on turn on as scheduled. Uh, then the phone is asking you at first if it should have your location. Why it's asking? Because you can, um, if you enable it, also I would recommend you to allow it because uh, it will check the time. And with that, it will check also when is the sun set and the sunrise. And you can set it up that if there's a, the sunset, it turns on. And if there's the sunrise, it turns off. So very nice, but you can customize it also uh, by your own if you want to give you an individual start time and an individual end time. Yo. And the opacity and so on, you can change it here, of course, as well. Yeah, and the last tool I want to show you, it is an included QR code scanner. So if you scroll down here, scroll down a second time, we have here the QR code scanner. And if you now scan here our QR code, it um, gives us here the information and you can go directly here on note, then it's part of um, yeah, note is like a, a word here on Samsung. And you can see what is completely written there, like at me here now. Thanks for watching phones and more. Yeah, has been really a pleasure with you guys. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice uh, comment or give me a thumbs up because this would really help my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for. And I've created also some other videos if you're interested in or maybe just subscribe me. Uh, it would be really a pleasure to see you again. And yeah, maybe until next time. Ciao.